Back to follow-up segment tonight. May remember that the factor was one of the first national news agencies to expose the medical marijuana ruse in California. As you may know, hundreds of clinics have opened in the Golden State, selling pot to just about anybody over 18 who has just about any ailment at all. That has caused major problems in cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles. Now the federal government is threatening to prosecute medical marijuana dealers because the feds do not recognize the California state law. Two of the men deeply involved in this brawl are Steve and Andrew D'Angelo, who run the Harborside Health Center in Oakland, California. Hi, Steve. Let's begin with you. Uh, successful entrepreneur, making a lot of money off the medical marijuana. I understand from my research, $20 million. That's a big. That's a big industry, right? Just you. Well, actually, that was our gross, uh, Bill. Uh, I'm not making a lot of money. Harborside is a nonprofit organization. I make a salary there, just like everybody else. Oh, what's your salary? Yeah. Well, we don't release individual salaries, but we do submit our books to the city of right, Oakland every year, and they certify we're operating in a nonprofit way. Okay, but just your Harborside Health Center gross is twenty million dollars a year. That's true. That's pretty good. Yes. Now. Are you a, p a pot user? Do you use marijuana? I'm a medical cannabis patient, yeah. I okay. have degenerative disc disease. A degenerative disc. I have a hard time saying it quickly, okay. too. Degenerative and disc disease. And, and marijuana two. helps that how? It does. Well, it helps me deal with the chronic pain that I suffer. I've had two spinal surgeries, and neither one of them were successful entirely. All right, so this is a painkiller for you. How often do you use marijuana? When yeah. I need to, um, well, generally, at, generally at the end of the day before I want to go to sleep. All right. Do you, uh, Andrew, use marijuana? Yes, unfortunately, I have glaucoma, which is a condition of the eye. Okay, so you use it for glaucoma, yep. you use it for a back. Now, many people in California submit on their medical sheets, and I'm sure you've seen this, that they use marijuana for anxiety. Right? Anxiety? Yeah, that's yeah, true. true. Okay, yeah, I'm in right. common use. Absolutely. But, but, and I'm, forgive me for being <clears throat> cynical, but all human beings have anxiety, so that means that every person on earth. Could get a medical marijuana card. Well, actually, you know, millions of prescriptions are written every year for drugs like Valium and Wellbutrin. Absolutely, no doubt. For sleep aids that have right. much worse side effects than cannabis. But, does. but let's just stay on cannabis because this is what you guys do. So any human being on the planet could basically get a medical marijuana card that says, "Hey, I'm anxious. I got anxiety. This helps my anxiety." Right? No, only if their doctor felt that their anxiety le okay, went to the level of medical. But you can find a doctor to say that. We already did this investigation here at Fox. You can find a doctor to say, the guy's anxious, here's some marijuana yeah, card. You know, That's Bill, what they do. We saw your investigation. We were just as shocked and outraged oh, by this. And that's why we started were, Harborside. Sure, yeah. Okay, but look, you know what I'm saying here. Let's cut through it. This is legalization of marijuana. That's what it is because anybody who's anxious can get a card by some doctor, you got to pay the doctor, and walk in and buy from you guys. You look at the card, you give them the pot. Yeah, we don't have the medical training to make that determination, right. but we do check with the Medical Board of California to make sure the doctor I'm is sure licensed. I'm sure you do. And good you, don't want to get, you don't want your license pulled for 20 million a year. But look, you know I'm right. This is quasi-legalization. I think that there are a lot of legitimate health and wellness purposes the okay. cannabis can That's be used fine. for. It's not reserved just for people on death's door. But anxiety covers everything. Andrew, quasi-legalization, yes. correct? No. no. We, uh, we will say right here on this show, yeah. Bill, that we do not support the legalization of cannabis for recreational purposes. Okay, but you know what the ruse is. You know what the scam is. Every I'm anxious, give me the card. No, now, no, uh, Bill, on the Discovery Channel website right yeah. now, yeah. to promote weed wars, you can witness dozens of patients that are up there right now with serious medical Look, conditions. I, I'm not, I'm not okay. saying you guys don't have serious reasons to use it. I'm saying the whole blanket is a legalization deal. Now, the feds say, no, nah, you're not going to do it. I don't care what California says. Do you understand that federal law overrides state law? Do you understand it? Uh, we understand that federal law is uh, still enforceable in the state of California, right. but not by California law enforcement. No, the federal agents would have to come. So you guys could go to jail if they find you, you know, you're not doing the right thing. That's right. That's true. We're Are taking you worried about it? Well, we're, of, we're, of course, we're terrified, but, you know, we know that this is good medicine, and it's not acceptable to us to not help people just because we're afraid. Okay, but... Opium I don't want to go helps. blind, Bill. Opium. I don't want to go no, blind. No, I know that, and I f I'm sorry you have glaucoma. But opium helps patients. Heroin helps patients. Morphine, 
all of that does. It's just a matter of what the damage is. Our staff and our safety personnel is trained to make sure nobody who's strung out on hard drugs getting into the facility, no one who's drunk can even get into the facility. We have no on-site consumption do of you medicine. Let them, do you let them, no, no on-site consumption. No on-site so consumption. can't eat the brownies or smoke the... And they can't go drive their car All right. afterwards. All right, guys, thanks for coming in. We hope you don't get arrested, and uh, we hope you feel better, both of you. Thank thanks. you.